I met him once. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. Like, legs like three trunks of a smith. Go away! Say, go away, boy! Not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. 
What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars, about Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes, to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience. Restraint. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Come on, lad, no time like the present. Tighten the tip sheet! Come on, come on, she won't bite. You're connected to her now. Listen and... Half sail! Ah! The killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Beware the sandbars! Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way.
Cottages. We're close. No sail. No sail. Drop anchor. We'll go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Her up. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring her on broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Ready up the Oh, 
gun boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. You missed. Best bring her round again. Try it again, boy. Come about and get all your muzzles on target. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown? What do we do? No help but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Twattled another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Now we best be getting back or the old man will have my guts for garters. <laughs> <laughs> 